46-52. Today's weather report, clear and sunny, with a high of minus 270 degrees. Good morning, everyone. So, first off, I completely forgot about these data drives. We have seven of them. Also, Ship Doctor, let's, uh... Still don't have a distributor. Okay. Let's take a look at these data drives really quick, because I completely forgot until I was reminded. Thank you very much. I entirely forgot that these things existed. I picked them up and then just forget. So, we have this. Um... Downfall of Martell Industries. Bankruptcy of Martell Industries is largely attributed to the mining giant's inability to adapt to ever-changing corporate landscape. Largely l l reliant on human labor, the company was quickly outperformed by new players in the market who were ready to adopt automated unmanned processes. With harsh physical and mental demands, the pre-terraform Martian environment put on the human body, human labor on the Red Planet was grueling, dangerous, and ultimately expensive. The balance between providing plentiful but dangerous opportunities to the large number of people immigrating from Earth and the broader and the broad economic demands for more efficient automated operations was a constant push and pull. Martell, Industri uh, Martell Industries believed the bleh. Sorry, constant push and pull. Martell Industries, believing in the power of a human workforce over automation, eventually lost the market bet. Ultimately, how much of this is due to the natural evolutions of the Martian market and economy and how much could be accredited to the decline of in the mental and, and leadership abilities of CEO Howard Martell as he entered his golden years remains unclear. Okay. Let's do the recovery thing for all these and then we'll read them. Oh. Greetings, friends and valued co-workers. Just a friendly reminder that all Lynx employees, in including executive teams, are expected to report to work on Solar Day this year with an ex exciting way to celebrate and honor the true lifeblood of our solar system. Let's do our sun proud and continue our pursuit of pushing humankind deeper into the galaxy one additional day this year. Exciting times indeed. Okay. Oh, this is a big one. Hey, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, you can pause this. So I'll, I'll, I'll just do this. Cause this one's a big one and I have a lot of stuff to do today. Okay, none of these are too long. Christina Klein understood the business of space better than most men. She knew that the worthless polar caps, far from the easily accessible equator, had propellant buried beneath. She gobbled up every piece of land that the CNSA would sell her. Years later, as every corporation began acquiring ice fields at a premium, she was selling. She liquidated her standing as everyone tried to get into the business, and she took her money and invested it in the real propellant in, in the real propellant into the solar system ships. The Sagan spaceyards were producing a new class light freight every day for years. Her ships had colonized the outers, and she'd build a she'd build a hell of an empire on the backs of intrepid haulers. Best bars are on the moon, hidden in the old Sagan shipyards. There's a shipwright that knows how to drink. If you're if you're far off Luna, if you're from off Luna, they'll give you the alcohol, vat grown zero G distilled, real nasty shit. But if you can put it away, they'll pull out the lunar vodka. Potato mash is from Earth, but it distills differently underground on Luna, and it'll make your even your average Russian sing walking on the moon. Uh, 
Okay, most of the crew have had our wonners raised on the blue, and they're good folks, but damn, I miss footy in the in the Sagan yards. Wonners just don't know how to play football in zero G in the zero. They can't unlearn that the ball isn't going to fall when they while I'm landing a bicycle that I've planted off of the ceiling. A Warner goalie is essentially game blind. How are you from the birthplace of the sport and can't play it? This is chess, not checkers. I might as well just play against myself in the airlock. Phono text reading. The Stellar Commission. Part 2. It wasn't until 2283, during the wake of the AI revolution, that the Stellar Commission found the grit we deserved from them for so long. It is here where we can chalk up a clear win. Advanced AI systems were on the rise, decimating work opportunities for hundreds of millions across the solar system, and causing unimaginable human suffering. Of course, large corporations, as always, had nothing more in mind than profit, and were further spurred by their public image as the drivers of human advancement. However, finally finding their voice and the right tools to enact and enforce policy, the Stellar Commission, in an enormous pushback against corporate power, outlined new regulations around artificial intelligence, practically outlawing its use in order to safeguard human jobs. Better late than never, am I right? The corporate conglomerates have had simmering resentment ever since this moment of heavy regulation and strict enforcement. Today they are looking towards the Jupiter frontier, where once again, the Commission's reach and oversight is sparse. And so the cycle repeats. As a species, our greatest flaw seems to be to never learn from history, and that there's some among us who would gladly grind their fellow humans into a pulp for a dollar. It appears we are doomed to repeat the mistakes of our past, time and time again. Dear Xavier, I wrote you a poem in your language. I hope you like. Sorry for mistake. You are my son, bright and center of my being. Warm fire, always there and burn brightly. If you go away, I will die, cold and alone. Please do not be doing that. Love Anastasia. Phono text reading. Message ID 445896. Hey babe, how's it going back home? I heard that the air quality has gotten worse pretty much everywhere on Earth. Don't go out unless you have to, please. I'm good here. They had an inauguration for another mine last week and you won't believe it, they gave us beer. I mean you'd barely call it beer, it's this dehydrated stuff they mix with alcohol and fizzy water but hey, gets the job done. You remember Ryan? Came up from Florida when it was evacuated? Well. He drank way too much of the stuff and started taking his suit off. Bunch of us had to tackle him before he completely vented and died. Classic Ryan. Oh, my back stopped hurting by the way. Stuff's much lighter here and lifting is easier. They're paying me next week, so you should see it in the account. Was thinking maybe you could get yourself some fruit or a real beer to celebrate with me. Miss you babe. Can't wait to bring you here. Huh. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. It's just, it's just the messages of me picking stuff up. Thank God. Oh, that was scary. I was like, oh no. Um. All right. Let's repair our stuff. And start our shift. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh god damn it. Tell you something I was told early in my career. You can patch a mistake, but the mistake's still there. Just covered up. The only way to truly fix a mistake is to not allow it to happen in the first place. I hope you're taking that in. You can't truly fix a mistake, so let's just avoid them to begin with. Okay? No mistakes. Go get them, kids. Salvage is secured. Applying credit. Shut up. God, I hate him. So much. I know he's supposed to be hateable, but jeez. Like, I know he's supposed to be hated, but it's just, he's so, so hateable. Um, alright, so we need to make a hole. Or how quickly can we make it through? We so need to get the reactor out of here. That's the thing we need to do today. So if we go from there, yeah, we should have time. Oh, it's not in here. I thought it was. Oh, it's in here. Okay, yeah, we should have time. All right. Reactors in a controlled meltdown. All we gotta do is pull it. Bring it out. Drop it down nice and easy. That was a lot. All right, so that was the big thing. That was the big hard part. Everything else is now just getting stuff done. Yeah, let's just start cutting stuff up. Start getting stuff out of here. Um, I don't think of how to do that, though. Do we want to just go cut a big chunk of the floor out and go from there? I think we just want to cut the entire floor out as best we can. Without destroying uh, chairs and stuff. Get all these floating, huh? The you know, fucked up part is these chairs still look more comfortable than anything on an airplane I've ever been on. I think that's the I think that's the worst part. 
I think I th think they look more comfortable than any plane I have ever been on. That's just an aluminum panel. close to being very bad. Alright, the floor's gone. cut out way easier than I thought it was going to, honestly. But, hey. Got it. Oh, I didn't even realize those storage bins were there. Shoot. Alright, let's get this stuff down there. slowly trying to get back into recording regularly again. It's hard right now, though, because I'm just... Like, this and Satisfactory are the only two things I've been able to do. Everything else has been just... I just look at... Like, I have like seven things that I should be recording right now for indie bins, and I should be streaming uh, Young Souls and everything else, and I just... I haven't been, just because I've been so tired lately. most of my damn tethers on this. But it's worth it. Not having to do this manually. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. But all of them? No, it's one directly below me. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transfer. And I miss a chair. Alright, oh, there's one here, and then I gotta do the, uh, the computers, which there is eight of. At least this is going pretty quickly. You know, this could have gone a lot worse. Okay, good. I was worried that that wasn't going to actually make it in there.
deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Salvage goal achieved. Goal seven reached already. That's pretty good. It's only been ten minutes and we've gone up three goals. All right, that's all those. Um, we still need to get the, the ECU out of here. There's this whole bank of computers. There's an air filter here. Oh, that leads to the... Okay. God, there's still this room, too. Oh, man, these... The, these things are huge. Yeah, this might be a three-parter. Just just for how much we still have to get out of here. So let's take care of this room. Get everything cut out of here. Still have to cut out the other. Oh Jesus! Okay, there's this room too, which there's only two things, three things in here. It'll be easier to just do this. And then we have to figure out how to get this thing into the furnace once all of this is done. How the hell are we gonna do that? All these computers, there's the computers in the other room too. Yeah, to get that out, I'm gonna have to cut for sure. Jeez, okay. Outside of that one time, we have yet to fail anything, and that was... I still don't think my fault. And it technically never happened. That was in a different timeline. Um, and also, we haven't died yet, which is good.
Oh boy. Um. No, no, you get out of the way. Not afford to destroy any of these. I mean, I can, but I really don't want to. weird. That was weird. Oh, you know what? I just realized these are on button and not analog. There we go. Now it's on analog. I do like that about this controller. The, the Elite 2. You can set the... I don't know about the Elite 1. I've never used it. But uh, you can set the... I never did that review. Fuck. Fuck, I still need to do that. Um... But yeah, you can set the uh, the triggers to be analog or digital, basically. And then in between, so they have a little bit of give, but not a ton. Uh, just let that get pulled down there by itself. Yeah, okay. Damn it. Okay, that was close. It floated just out of my pickup range just as I hit X. That was almost, almost tragedy. All right, we're almost to nine already. Still have that other room of computers back here. And then we just have the storage bins up there and then we're Done? That's kind of crazy. Oh, stop turning that way. Thank you. And credit table. Ridiculous. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Besides this battery pack, is there anything else in here? Didn't mean to do that. I meant to pick it up, forgetting that that's not a pickup. 
Whoops. Honestly, outside of the, oh, there's one computer terminal in here. Two, two that we missed, okay. Alright, um, just the storage bins in here. have to do with fourth cut. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, splitting splitting them up this season has been a lot better because before it was like an hour plus per and that was just too much after a while. Um, but making this a half hour a day has been a Is there a food pack down there? Weird. Yeah, making this making this only a couple like 30 minutes a day has really helped a lot with the enjoyment of this season. Dang it. Now we have to figure out how to get this thing out of here. Wait, is there anything left in this room here? That doesn't look like it. Okay. So this thing weighs 33,000 kilograms, basically. 32,990. Can you not go into the barge, please? We need a lot more tethers. I can tell you that right now. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your purchase. Right. Have a nice day. Why is it slanted all of a sudden? It wasn't before. Does that mean it's light enough to move? Can we just shove this entire thing in there? That would be hilarious if we could. Oh, wait, the pipes. We do need to get those. Um, this stuff all matters quite a bit, actually. Yeah, that was that was worth it. That was a good chunk. All right, so now this thing has to go into here. It's not budging an inch. All right.
All right, let me get the last little bit. Hopefully, hopefully this is small enough to go in via all those tethers. And it looks like it is. Holy crap, okay. I really hope we didn't lose, miss anything like major. Also, very little waste on this one. Like, like, shockingly little waste for what it could have been. big enough like can the can it even accept something that large i don't know we'll find out let's see how much my computer chugs trying to do the particles for all of this huh so we're at 60 fps right now let's see what it goes down to i think it's stuck which sucks for me because that's really dangerous I can't get that close to the furnace. Uh oh. go. That'll suck it in. No way that won't. Raw material deposited. Transferring credit. That one's just outright stuck, so... I got the achievement Gecko Goal Getter for doing all the goals on the Gecko, apparently. Oh, that didn't cut through. Oh, whatever. Last little bit, and then we're done. Holy crap. Almost exactly another half hour. So, yeah, that's... Oh. Completely missed that. Very little waste on a nine tier one. I'm kind of proud of that. That was pretty good. Anyway, let's sort of restock on tethers and fuel and we'll uh, see what we have tomorrow. Welcome to Vintage 9000. Thank you for your Anyway, experience. thanks for hanging out. Have a nice night, everybody. I'll see you.